Hi Scorpios, it's B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. And I'm here to give you your uh, April 2015 tarot scope reading. Let's go ahead and find out what's going on with the planets first. Well, uh, Scorpio, you have had the uh, to super moon total solar eclipse in your fifth house. The fifth house has to deal with children, romance, creativity. So in this particular case, Scorpio, there may have been something that got eclipsed out. So there may have been something that, you know, maybe you were seeing someone for a long time and you broke up. Maybe you had a creative project that you finished and now you're on to another creative project. Uh, there may have been children in your family that graduated or or that will be graduating and um because because this eclipse actually lasts uh, the energies last for six months so uh maybe we'll be graduating and you are going to be sending them off to college or sending them off to the military you know here's to the military <laughs> I was in the military, so uh, so I'll just throw that out there. But anyway, so uh, whatever type of you know massive door is closing, there's also going to be a massive door opening because the day after this uh, super moon total solar eclipse, we had a new moon in Aries. So you know the the solar eclipse was in Pisces, and Pisces is generally an emotional, sensitive, intuitive. A creative visionary type of energy so you have this you you're gonna have these types of energies kind of you know going along with you for the next six months and then with the um, with the Sun now in Aries you, you know that new moon then is actually in your sixth house so that is all of your activities your day-to-day -day activities now if I remember correctly you had uh, your Uranus Pluto square because Uranus is in Aries okay that's also in your sixth house so you are still <laughs> going to be dealing with a lot of unexpected things in your sixth house your workaday life your errands that you run every day be careful if you are out driving do not make any unexpected sharp moves or anything while you're driving Make sure you watch other people, you know, make sure you give people plenty of room when they're driving so they don't do something unexpected and stupid in front of you or behind you. I mean, you know, who who knows? So just, just be very aware of your surroundings, uh, Scorpio, as uh, as these planet planetary energies uh, seem to be having an effect on you a little bit more profoundly than others. So now with the sun in your sixth house, you not only have, like I said, these unexpected events, but now there is a spotlight on your sixth house. So there is a massive spotlight you are focusing on your sixth house endeavors, whether that be your work life, whether that be your daily errands. Now, if it is your work life, there is a lot of focus for you on your work duties. You are really putting your nose to the grindstone and you are you are trying to make sense of it all and organize it all and you've got all these things coming at you from all all over the place and you are just trying to do your best to be able to navigate not only the energies unexpected energies that you're dealing with but also navigate the work that is just sitting right in front of you and on top of that you may have had potential changes you know in your relationship with your children with your creativity so this is just these are just energies that you you really need to be aware of as you move through this particular month and as you move even past this particular month into the next six months to come. So, Scorpio, we need to get into your tarot scopes. Now, I am going to be using the red or white tarot deck for the general energies for the month and specific sections within the month. The first card is for general energies. The second card is for work and finance. The third card is for emotional life, love life. The fourth card is for health. And I will have in the fifth section a spiritual um, advice card from the Crystal Ally deck from Naisa Asian. And I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. And basically what the spiritual advice is, is the spiritual advice gives you uh, some nuggets of information regarding what 
types of activities you can do or what type of energies you need to embrace in order to get through any challenging energies uh, that you may be facing or to enhance the wonderful energies that may be coming your way with all of your you know closing of old doors and opening of the new doors so um, you know this is really really important because I believe that the spiritual advice allows us you know an opportunity to take some time out and to really give gratitude for all the wonderful things that are in our life and 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 to embrace you know all of those positive things that have happened to us you know it, within the last past two or three years or even throughout our lives so anyway let's go ahead and get started uh, on the April 2015 reading and uh, I will be uh, doing the general energies first I do my shuffles live online this does not discount those that do pre shuffles and maybe put their cards up on a screen it does not make their readings any less accurate all readers you know most readers are here to oh this one wants to come out most readers are here you know to share this advice with you and to give you some spiritual guidance and and you know what it is your choice whether or not you take that guidance you know that that is completely okay this one wanted to come out for, for your work life let's see what's going on with your emotional life emotional love life that's the card let's see what's going on with your health these are coming out quick so I am sensing right now that um, you know a lot of uh, a lot of Scorpios out there are, are kind of here it is a lot of Scorpios out there are doing a lot of quick thinking right now. Um, you are making a lot of quick decisions potentially. You are having to make quick decisions potentially as it relates to maybe some of these uh, unexpected energies that came from the Pluto Uranus square when it was exact on the 16th and the 17th. And those those Pluto Uranus square energies are are going to be felt all the way to the end of of March. Uh, they will bleed into April and they will start to really completely dissipate. Uh, after April shortly into May now we may revisit a few uh, areas at the end of the year but it's not going to be near as intense uh, and unexpected as it was uh, here in March okay spiritual advice for it there it is for April for Scorpios you guys might get a quick reading here let's just see how this all works out Okay, for your uh, April 2015 general energies for the month, you have temperance. Um, this is what I'm hearing because I am feeling that all of you are kind of making your quick to the draw, quick decisions. You're 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 doing the Scorpio thing. You know, you, you get very passionate. And you keep this all inside and. You know, you do like to express your passion, but when somebody comes up against your passion, you can be, you can, that little stinger on that tail can strike just like that. So what the general energies are telling you is temper reaction. Temper reaction, any sixth house endeavor, temper your reaction at work, temper your reaction on the road, temper your reaction if you're standing in the line at the grocery store if something if something sets you off take a deep breath and just try to find you know that balance and if you do need to express any type of discomfort to someone or anything just make sure that you express it in a manner that takes their feelings into consideration so you can create you know this this balance and the synthesis in your relationship or in that situation so that things do not get heated and things do not get out of balance that's really the most important thing the other thing here Scorpio is it looks like you guys need to drink more water okay so that's just a general um, thing that I am picking up here because a lot of times when these water cards come up, the water will really stand out. And other times, you know, maybe the, maybe the wings will stand out. It really just depends. Um, it, sometimes I pick things up on the cards that you, I have never picked up before. So uh, in this particular case, I'm seeing lots of water around you. And so this, this may relate to some of you as you need to drink more water. Others of you are uh, actually surrounding yourself with water. Some of you may have bought a, an aquarium some of you uh, are actually building a house near water or you have a house near water you might be going fishing you might be doing some
something like that. So because your daily activities are being highlighted right now with that sixth house energy and the sun in that sixth house, I do believe that you guys are just going to be busy, 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 and you're going to be going here and you're going to be going there. And it is spring in the northern hemisphere. So uh, with spring in the northern hemisphere, some of you Scorpios out there, you know, might really be looking at, okay, I need to get out to the lake or I need to get to the beach or I need to do this. And if you do end up out at the lake or you do end up out, out at the beach within the next month or so, um, please just make sure that you are not drinking and driving your boat. This is something that is also coming in. So just make sure that you are, uh, re you are conscious of your state, your mental state when you are near this water. That is quite important. Uh, in other areas of general energy, basically what you are doing uh, with the temperance card is that you are creating a very, uh, you are trying to create a very healthy balance. And I believe that, you know, March may have just been, the end of March especially, may have just been kind of crazy for you. So right now you're kind of retreating. You're kind of saying, okay, I need to find the harmony. I need to find the balance. I need to, I need to just I just need to be, you know, and as a Scorpio, you are a water sign. So if you put yourself, you know, in a situation where you are surrounded by water, that will calm you, that will temper you, that will bring you back down, you know, into your happy state. So this is something that you can definitely look forward to if this is a plan that you have to, to get out and go near the water. If, uh, if you are not getting out and going near the water, then simply stating is you are trying to find your balance again and it looks like in the month of April you are achieving that balance. So this is, this is really, really good in a lot of areas of your life. This is exactly what you need, Scorpio. For your work life and your financial life, we have the hanged man. Basically what this means, Scorpio, is that your financial life and your work life is kind of in a, in a state of uh, stasis. It's really, right now, you're kind of waiting to hear back on things. If you are uh, not employed and you've put your, uh, put, put your applications out there, you may have to wait just a little bit longer uh, than, than you were expecting. But while you are doing this waiting, you may come out and you may, you may feel that you now have a different perspective and maybe this is not the job that you want, so you will look at you know potentially other jobs out there. As far as your finances go, you are, you are looking at um, trying to find ways to balance your finances. There may be more money going out than there is coming in. And so what is happening right now is you know, you're kind of realizing that and you are kind of needing you know, to bring that balance back and, and temper your spending. And you are now looking at it and you were saying, oh my gosh, you know, I, 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 my bank account is not near you know, what I want it to look like. Now, it doesn't even matter if you're a, a, a millionaire. It's just not growing, okay? So what you're seeing is you're seeing that whatever finances you have, they're, they're in a state of stagnation. So just kind of do some, do some savvy detective work and, you know, kind of figure out, you know, Scorpios are pretty smart. So just kind of figure out where you can invest, you know, kind of maybe you need to mix your investments a little bit. Maybe you need to do some, you know, for some of you, you know, you could do a 401k as well as a Roth or, or something like that. You know, it, it could be anything. Maybe you put some money in a high yield savings account and then another one you keep in a savings account at home, you know, uh, or a savings account that, you know, is with maybe your bank that doesn't give as high of a yield. You know, it's all it is is it's you're just trying to find the balance. And, um, you know, you may invest in some type of, I'm hearing some of you may be investing in an invention of some sort. There is something going on with an invention that it, it, it is an invention that has a, a different approach than, than other uh, typical things that are out there. It's actually very state of the art. It's very new. And it's something that you are really thinking on. And it, it's something that you are trying to consider whether or not you want to invest in this invention. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm just picking up what I'm hearing. So, you know, in this particular case, you are in a, a state of stasis. And 
if you do if you do have a significant amount of money that you can invest right now you are simply looking at your options you are trying to get a different perspective if you are not you know uh, doing very well with your finances you are trying to find ways to balance your finances so that you've got more coming in than is going out okay so if those of you um, that uh, are waiting for some type or of a job or you've applied to a job you know some of you are considering um, chiropractic work some of you are considering something completely uh, different some of you are considering um, entertainment some type of entertainment that has to do with your body where you're out there and you're dancing or you're out there and you are maybe doing gymnastics or something like that so that may be something that you are considering or those of you that are employed may be in those fields already so those of you that uh, are employed right now you are simply in a state of you know you've got this you're establishing the state of calm and the state of moderation and right now you're just looking at things and, and you're just taking stock of what you have and where you're at and whether or not you want to move into a different direction okay wow Scorpio you have the high priestess for your emotional life and your love life so basically what this means is you are definitely going to be tapping into your intuition when it comes to your emotional affairs now whether you are single or whether you are committed this uh, this intuition is going to serve you well you are going to literally be removing this veil that may have potentially been hiding stuff from you uh, from your partner from you from your relationship so this is something that you need to tap into you need to tap into that intuition you need to ground that intuition into you know into the earth some of you may actually be uh, going on to a spiritual retreat with uh, your significant other for for those of you that uh, are not in a relationship you are going to be hotter than hotcakes because the high priestess is all that and then some I don't care if you are a man I don't care if you are a girl I don't care if you are gay I don't care if you are a lesbian it does not matter you are just going to be steaming hot you are going to have this air of mystery around you and people are just going to want to be around you you know your partner it, it may look at you I mean you could be out mowing the lawn and they're going to look at you and they're going to be like damn you, <laughs> do you want to take a break or something let's let's go uh, let's go get it on I mean this is something you know that when the high priestess uh, allows energies in and um, in a specific specific section here as as in your emotional and your love life section you know you are certainly going to have that air of mystery that aura of, of absolute um, glow about you and people are going to be attracted to it like uh, like a moth to a flame so for you coupled and for you committed or for you coupled and for you single it looks like it's going to be great uh, for your love life uh, in April now how this may pan out with work um, you know you've you've got your intuition here and your intuition you know is telling you at work that okay you know I need to start utilizing my intuition so that I can make appropriate decisions at work so I can get out of this stuck energy the stagnant energy and by getting out of this stagnant energy then what I can do is I can go ahead and create that balance back into my life okay for your health what do we have <laughs> look at that okay Scorpio you're trying to maintain your ground so I think right now what's happening is a lot of Scorpios that have gone and they have actually embarked on a new health regime you are at a plateau you are you know maybe you did the Jenny Craig or maybe you did a protein shake type of regime or maybe you you know are at the gym and you're working out at the gym and now you're sitting here and, and you're like okay I've lost that 20 pounds but my goal was 40 why am I not losing any more money or why am I not losing <laughs> you know some of you may be losing money if 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 that that came out I'm sorry I just some of you may be losing money you may have invested in something for your health that is not giving you a return on your investment so then you lost money so that is how that slipped out <laughs> so um, you know 
as, as far as investing in something, you know, uh, where is my return on investment this? Why am I not losing any more weight? Or why am I not gaining the muscle that, you know, I, I was told that I would gain? You know, I'm following everything. I, I'm not doing anything that's, you know, abnormal or wrong. So uh, I, I'm just wondering if this is the, if this is the uh, particular path that I need to take with my health. For some of you, you may be fighting off a disease right now. Some of you might be fighting off uh, some type of cancer. And uh, I am happy to let you guys know that your fight is not going to be in vain because you will find calm and you will find, um, you know, that that sun that is coming up over the horizon and you're going to feel content and you're going to feel very, very blessed and harmonious because what is seen here is that this man that is defending his turf or is fighting off cancer, so to speak, um, he is, you know, he is maintaining his ground. He's, he's going to be victorious. So um, he is on top right now. So, you know, you may, you know, be in remission. You, th this, this, this may be what's going on with you. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I just hear it like I hear it from spirit. So I, sometimes it comes out, it doesn't even make sense to me, but I just have to say it. So uh, in this case, as far as health, it looks like you guys have, you know, maintained your ground, but right now you are battling something, you are fighting something, you are, you are trying to get past, you are trying to get past this, this stagnant stage, this stuck stage, and, and I think, you know, if you can go ahead and if you can utilize, you know, your intuition and if you can utilize, uh, you know, the power of spirituality, I mean, y you would be surprised, you know, if, have people pray for you. This is what I'm hearing. If, if you can ask your loved ones, say, please, you know, pray for me, send a, send a note to God, send a note to Allah, send a note, you know, to whomever, have, have the church pray for me, have the church pray over me. You would be really, really surprised uh, how it works, you know, to actually manifest the energies in the physical and it will heal you. It will get you past that stuck spot. So, uh, you know, keep your chin up, okay? Find that calm, find that spirituality, you know, M meditate surround yourself with positive surround yourself with water you know if you can have um, you know, water around you like fountains or, or anything like that anything to calm you anything to bring you um, that peace that you so desperately need uh, that is something that is highly uh, highly recommended by uh, what spirit is telling us through these cards for your spiritual advice Inner bridges. You know, I, this does go back. Um, I don't know why can cancer patients are coming up with this so much, but this is what's happening right now inside of you. There's inner bridges that are taking place. And uh, those inner bridges, uh, maybe through chemotherapy or something like that, are creating healing for you. Uh, they are eradicating, um, you know, those cells that are malignant within you. Uh, these inner bridges allow the connections uh, to the other cells that are healthy uh, to proliferate and, and to be able to um, act in such a manner that benefits your health. So that is absolutely awesome. You know, for those that are, you know, um, out there looking for the love of their life, you are through your intuition and, and through your, your mystery are creating these inner bridges, you know, with that person that you are interested in. And, you know, that person feels like they have a connection to you. And, you know, inner bridges I mean you create bridges with people you know you know what they say they say don't burn your bridges you know in in this particular case it's your inner bridges right now so don't burn that bridge within yourself don't allow you know others to um, to tell you that you're not gonna make it don't allow others to say oh you just need to give up don't allow that to happen don't burn those inner bridges you keep those bridges strong you you keep that that connection and this is what I'm hearing the, the mind the body and the spirit connection you keep that connection strong and you will be able to overcome any type of obstacle that comes in your way you will be able to um, 
you know, release that stagnation, you know, that you're feeling at work or, or that stuck uh, energy, you know, from work. And, you know, once you do that, you will be able to embrace the general energies of the month that allow you calm, that allow you happiness, that allow you gratitude, that allow you harmony. You know, this is something that, you know, Scorpios just need to embrace. And it's it's not amazing that this particular card is over water. So I would highly recommend that, um, that you guys do something around water, drink more water, get around water, allow that water energy to come into you and to wash over you and to clean you and to clear you so that um, you know you keep your inner bridges strong, you keep your mind, body, soul connection, spirit connection strong. You know, that's something that um, you can definitely embrace this April and uh, hopefully if you embrace this, then you will be able to manifest those general energies of harmony. Okay, Scorpio, I really hope that you enjoyed that reading. Um, it was the, the energies that came through were something that I'd never experienced before, and uh, I really hope that this, uh, this helped some of you out in, in some way, shape, or form. So again, I am B. Uh, this is Psychic Sounds by B. I do not have my uh, website up yet, but I will hopefully here at the end of April. Remember, listen to your rising sign, your sun sign, and your moon sign for a more complete picture of your April forecast. And I wish you much light, many blessings, and much love. Namaste, Scorpio.